Hi YouTube. So you may or may not be aware that this um, brothel owner in Nevada, Dennis Hoff, he died uh, last week. And, you know, I hear now and then few sex workers on Twitter, you know, mourning his death or complaining about how there's nobody else now, but, oh, he, he was um, such a great person or, you know, and I also hear out the other side to it, that he wasn't such a great person, that he took advantage of women. And yeah, all that's true. And I just wanted to say the good, the bad, and the ugly is, the truth is, yes, he was a very wealthy white man who did take advantage of women and he got even more and more powerful and more and more wealthy off the backs of women. And he had a monopoly basically as do all the brothel owners have monopolies. They all have a monopoly on the sex industry in Nevada, which means if you are a woman who wants to get ahead and wants to try to make more money than the system could ever allow, that you basically want to do it the legal way, then you basically have to give up half your earnings and your privacy and your personal life to these brothel owners. You are pretty much at the whim of the brothel owners. So if the brothel owner wants a favor and you're not willing to give them that favor, you are at the whim of them firing you. And I find that incredibly in, uh, unempowering and abusive. And this is one of the reasons why I did not like working at the brothels. Uh, many other reasons are, believe it or not, you are expected to work 24 hours a day, meaning that even if you've had no sleep, you're expected. You're not, it's not like you have to, like they don't say, oh, you have to, but it's expected of you unless you are on a schedule, but even then you are subject to being woken up at all hours of the night if things get to be where they're running short of girls. You will still get woken up. Um, I don't know about you, but I like to sleep and I, I actually enjoy sleeping eight or nine hours every night. And I uh, definitely do not like, that was one part of the business I could not stand being out there in the middle of the desert is another issue. And I can't help but wonder, you know, if these brothels were anywhere near civilization, anywhere near medical help, that it's possible, you know, he, they could have got this person, Dennis Hoff, to the hospital in time to revise him of whatever it was he was dying from, be it like heart condition, drug overdose, who knows. But yeah, if that brothel was anywhere near the city, they, it's most likely he would have got took to the hospital and he would, would have been recuperated. But being out in the middle of the desert, chances of that ever happening are slim. You, you could have a allerg allergic reaction. You could, um, you know, not, there's, so, there's a list of things that can happen to people that if you're not near a hospital, you will die. And that was another concern of mine, not that I have any medical medical conditions, but being out in the middle of the desert in itself makes you very vulnerable to the people you're under the thumb of, meaning that it's a big desert out there and people do disappear. So yeah, I don't regret, I don't, I don't feel sorry for this person. Again, he was making millions of dollars off the backs of women and they were all at his mercy. Take care.